Hi and welcome to the channel. Now today's video is not really a shootout, it's just a little bit of differences I've picked up upon between the 331, the 200 and the 210. The video is mainly about the 210 I suppose uh, because it's one of the latest ones I bought. Um, but I'm going to take this just to, just to let you know what I'm comparing it all against. This is the latest 331 I bought. And this recap one sounds just a little bit better. It's not a vast amount of difference. I did do a video on it saying that it's nothing vast, but there is a difference. What it is, 10, maybe 20%, I don't know. Just that little bit tighter, that little bit extra detail, that little bit extra resolution, but nothing, you know, nothing suddenly going to jump out here. It's just, if you listen, you can hear them little differences there. So there is a little bit of a difference there being recapped. And uh, I don't know if this is like anything else that gets recapped, but uh, in this particular case, this is the only one I pretty much fully recapped. There weren't a vast amount of difference, but there was a difference. You know, don't expect to say it sounds absolutely rubbish to sound absolutely fantastic. I don't think it's going to go that far apart, uh, but I think you're going to get that little bit of difference where you just make things just a little bit clearer, like I say, a little bit more detail on that. So I'm going to compare these with this one here, the one that I've, I've recapped. I'm still doing a little bit of work on that one at the moment. Anyway, this is the 200. This is the, let's just do the ratings here. This is the 200 rated at five watts a channel, so it's quite powerful. But it, you know, you haven't got it. You know, this volume control, you'd be surprised. Well, the speakers I'm using here, which I've done all the experiments with, with the same set of speakers, because it gets complicated, it gets hard, and you forget things and all that, make your life a bit easier. And it, you know, it, it's quite time consuming. I've kept the same set of speakers. I've used these. Um, Dynaco A35s, probably the best speakers I've got here for the price of one. This is a budget channel because I get other people come across now and again, put a comment in there. Oh, you should try it, and, and it ain't going to work with my channel. It's going to work with something that's cost a lot more. Yes, I'm probably going to do that little bit more detail, that little bit extra, and everything. But for something that's right down the low, we're talking about bottom. These are all, these are all bottom of the, of the pile kind of thing. Uh, you're not going to get it's, it's not going to change it that much. It's not suddenly going to change an 80 pound amp into an 8,000 pound or 800 pound amp. It's not going to do that, no matter what you connect to it and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like it's embedded. That, that's the kind of sound you're going to get out of it. You may be able to make it a little bit better. And some of these things, these little bit of extra details by changing the fuse and doing this, that, and the other, and all this kind of stuff. I'm probably not going to pick it up on this, but if I had a two or three grand amp, I'm probably going to pick it up on maybe if it's there. Uh, to start off with that's what i'm trying to say it's not going to make such a vast amount of difference these are minicule differences probably with some of this stuff and these are probably not good enough even though they are good but good enough don't think this is a budget channel to pick out them differences i don't think so that's my fault anyway so um yeah going back to these this is just five watts of channel this is a 200 and this cost me what you're going to pay for it i'm going to kind of mention as well this cost me 41 40 pound cost me 40 pound and one just recently sold on eBay for £41. So it's cheap enough. This is cheap. This is a this is a Chinese meal takeaway kind of price. And it's something that you're going to enjoy and going to last you for many a year. So even though this is 50 years old, you're probably going to get a good few more years out of this yet. It doesn't have to be recapped or anything like that. You're still going to get a decent sound out of it. So don't worry about that. You may get a few noisy transistors here and there, but I've been pretty lucky. Uh, no, I haven't with this one. I'll tell you what, I had to replace a noisy transistor I've done both channels in this unit, so I did have a noisy transistor in there, so you could be a bit unlucky, but it's a fairly straightforward job. It's an easy enough transistor to get hold of, all that kind of stuff. You may be able to do it yourself, depending on who you are and etc. but you may be able to get a little electronic shop or something like that to do it for you at a reasonable price, I think. You could be a bit unlucky, it's noisy, but don't forget, if you bought something like this off of eBay, etc., you could always send it back and say, no, you said it was working fine, I've got a noise. So you are covered there, if you've got a bit of hassle going back and forth to the post office, that kind of stuff. So that was £40. This recently cost me £80, which isn't expensive at all. But, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like maybe a bit more than I wanted to pay for it, maybe, because I always like getting a bargain. I like being a bit tight and getting a bargain. You know, if I got this for £50 or £60, I'd have been a bit more happier. So I'm happy enough with what it is for £80. That included postage as well, so that was OK. This cost me £60 uh, plus postage, I think it was. So that's that one. And this one here, I think, only cost me £40 or £50 pound, uh, quite a while ago now. But like I say, this is recap. And this is one I'm going to do the comparisons with these other two with as well. And like I say, it's, it's a probably a 10%, 20% difference to this one, sound-wise. Uh, even though they've got the same parts in them. Right, OK. But like I say, you can get stuff with different parts in. So be a bit careful. They can change a little bit. But I think overall, the quality is still going to be there one way or the other. You know, it's, it's not going to turn just because you've got some different parts in there. I don't think it's, you know, the kind of circuits laid out, the way they've all laid it out, as long as they still kept reasonably good quality parts, that it's still going to sound pretty good. You know, like I say, that's the thing to maybe bear in mind. But like I say, some bloke uh, did have two of these, two different capacitors. One of them was the is it ENLA capacitors, 
Eleanor or I call them or something like that, Eleanor capacitors and one had the Nietzsche com capacitors and there was a difference in sound but they both sound good as, as far as I could take what he said uh, in his comment anyway so I would expect that as well probably okay let's get on with it uh, yeah so we've got 5 watts, 10 watts, 11 watts I think that's how it goes so we're going to start off like I say this is the one really I'm reviewing this is this is quite a nice sounding unit this is I mean people that's got these are all non to them I think you know I mean pretty much of all this all, all these three here, if you've got one, you're probably holding on to it. Not if you suddenly got a downsize your collection or you've gone up to something much, much bigger. I think you know, a lot of people hold on to these because they're not going to get much money for them, and they still sound good. They're a second system as well to a lot of people. People have moved up, this is a second system to me, still a good second system because I think if you went and bought one, something brand new, I've had a, a, a Marantz and a couple of other brand new, not brand new, but they're, they're more, more current, shall I say. Uh, if you want to, I think you're going to pay like well over 200, maybe probably three, four, five hundred pounds to get something that's going to sound this good kind of thing. You know, it's still got that good sound to it, even though it's 50 years old. If you want to bought a receiver these days, you're probably going to have to pay four or five hundred quid for a receiver, and you still may not get as as good a sound as these. Obviously, it's got its own unique sound kind of thing, but you know, maybe what's your thoughts? How much you know? It's an interesting one, really. How much would you think you'd have to pay to get something of this reasonable quality? Uh, these days, I don't know. I'm guessing really. I'm a bit lost. You know, uh, lost touch with how much things come to. Don't forget that like, I think I've just mentioned it. Forty pound. It's a Chinese. You know, so going out and getting a Chinese takeaway for one night, and you're going to get years of pleasure out of this. Okay, we've, we're going to get on some sounds, Mick. Yeah, we are. We're going to get on some sounds in a minute. We're definitely going to get on some sounds. Right. Okay. This here, we're going to compare. I'm going to do the comparisons with each other, not in general with other units, just in, with each other kind of thing. Uh, in my units here I've got here, like I said, I can only tell you what I've got here. Yawn could be totally different, it could be slightly different, or it could be exactly the same kind of thing. It'd be interesting to see if any of you have got similar ones to what your ones sound like. Give, give, give more of a ballpark what to expect for other people that's uh, maybe looking in to get one of these. I only want to get one of them, which one should they get kind of thing. Um, okay. So um, yeah, this when you, when you can, this is a nice sound. This has got like smooth sound, and people say this is a valve sounding kind of amplifier. And I wouldn't disagree with that. Uh, you know, it's got its own kind of unique sound. It's got that kind of valvey sound, which I can kind of agree with. Even though I've only bought one valve unit to try out with, but you can kind of, you know, you can you can tell it's a different sound from a transistor kind of uh, amplifier. One, you know, from a transistor amplifier I've got down here. This does sound different. It's it's, it's more of a purer, a nicer. It's got like a nice smooth kind of sound to it. The top, the top end in here is quite nice. It's got a reasonable amount of detail, the top end. So the top end was quite nice. The mids were nice. The vocals were nice, all that kind of stuff. The sound stage was pretty good as well. You know, kept the instruments. It had a reasonable amount of space around it as well. It's got a reasonable amount of space. I would have said this has just got a little bit more space around it. And this has got even more space around it when we compare the three of them. That's back to our point, the right one, this one here. Got a bit more space to it, even more. But it's got that extra detail, the extra resolution, because I've recaptured as well. And that's probably adding to that space. And this has got a bit more depth to it as well. Like it's got a bit more depth. Uh, okay, it's wandering on a bit. I'm kind of jumping one to the other. So if we just do a comparison between one and two, I think that'd be easier, maybe, than me darting about all over the place. We'll do this to this, then we'll do this to this, because this is the one we're really talking about today. Okay, when we compare this here to this, this is leaner. This has got a leaner kind of sound. And it may be even more valvey kind of sound. It's, it's got more, it goes deeper as well. It's got more depth to it, this sound. It's got more depth. The sound stage has got more depth to it. Um, it's just leaner, more depth I've got there. This has got a bit more attack to it kind of thing. It's, it's a bit more dynamic, this amplifier. It's more textured. It's got a bit more texture to it. It sounds, uh, it sounds richer as well. It's got a richer kind of sound to it, this amplifier here, when you compare it to this one here. So, you know, they're both still good amplifiers, you know, which one do you prefer out of two, Mick? I prefer them both, like, I prefer them both, but, you know, this is what this has got going for it. It's pretty much this kind of amplifier, but it's just got, say, it's got that attack texture, a bit more dynamic and richer kind of sound. But when we compare this to this now, so I'll just put that one out of the equation there, right, to make things a bit simpler for myself and you for knowing what I'm talking about and rattling on about. Um, I would say this is, this is a bit more dynamic than this one here. And I'll oh, go back to this here, I didn't cover the bass here. I just found the bass was pretty good on this, don't get me wrong, just but uh, when you compare it to this one here, it's just a little bit more um, little bit more muddier, just slightly. Not, you know, it's not, I'm not saying it's got a muddy bass, but when I compare it to this, it's just a slightly a bit more muddier, just slightly a bit more muddier than this one here. This, this, this had more of a cleaner kind of bass to it. And this had better resolution, like I say, because it's been recapped. Uh, it had a nice depth to it as well, and a bit more airiness, more space around the instruments. This, even though this has still got space around the instruments and that, it's still quite a nice sounding. It's got the space, it's got the freedom kind of thing. 
but this just had a bit more and a bit more sparkle to it just a bit more involving to me a bit more involving because it's just a bit cleaner as well uh, it's um, but this is slightly richer when you compare this to this this amplifier here is slightly richer it's just got a slightly more richer more warmer kind of sound a little bit more warmer than this amplifier here but it's only comparison and these only little bits these these only tiny little bits but uh, what i took out from it really is the main difference between kind of this and this if we compare this little one to this one this like i say this is this had the more depth things seem to go back further in the sound stage with this amplifier even though it's a leaner sounding amplifier it's got that sound, it's a nice sound amplifier, it's still a good little amplifier. For 5 watts, £40, you're buying yourself a little corker there, you really are. And here, £80, you're getting that more, that more warmth, that more richness, uh, and it's still got that, like, that sound stage, um, that kind of like airiness to it. Uh, but this was just a little bit more area. Uh, it's still got that, you know, that space around the instruments, all that kind of stuff. This just done it a little bit more better. But I think it's all down to the capacitors as well. If I was to recap this, it's going to be better. Not by a vast amount, I'm not expecting it to be a vast amount better, but I think it's probably much what this is compared to this. We're probably going to get another 10 or 20 percent out of it. So then, you know, this and it'll probably clean up that bottom end as well, that base. It probably just clean that slight. I'm not saying it's muddy, but when you just do a comparison between the two, it just it just seems like it's a little bit more definition here. This one sounds a little bit more muddier, that's all. So, uh, and like I say, it's, it's mainly about resolution, this and the detail. It's got a little bit more detail in this unit. Now, when there's in that splash symbol and ting, 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 all that kind of stuff it's just going on for a little bit longer you can just you can kind of pick up every little bit of it where it's try, going out rather than a little bit of choppiness when, when you can you know when you can try and compare you know that kind of uh, sound if, if you broke it up it's the resolution rather than being it's not 8 bit but rather than being 8 bit it kind of turns it into 16 bit something like that if you kind of measure it in bit wise but don't take too much notice of what I'm saying because it sounds like this is terrible they ain't they're three good units I'm just trying to ex explain it in words. I know some people say, put a sound test up, Mick, let's listen to it, rather than all your explanations and all that. You know I've took over, I think a few of you know, I've took had to take down over 100 videos because of sound clips and stuff and ever, uh, because YouTube want to know who's this from, they couldn't verify that, they couldn't verify this, even though some of them clips are from my brother's band, uh, they, it wasn't good enough kind of thing. So I, I don't want to get involved in all that, I don't need to take other videos down. And you'll see other people like Andrew Robinson, and a few others that do all these reviews, they never put any sound clips up, and probably that's the reason why, because it's more aggro than it's worth. So it's all about talking about it kind of stuff. So that's it. So don't matter which one you buy, you're going to get a good receiver. So maybe really about budget, and probably the cheapest one you're going to get is this. It's a valvey kind of sound. It's not a transistor kind of sound. It's a valvey kind of sound. It may not be the sound for you, but it pretty much, uh, near enough every generation of kind of music I put through it sounded okay. You may going to get an odd track and odd bits and pieces where it may not quite suit that valvey kind of sound, if you know what I mean. It may be that track you're playing suits a transistor kind of sound as well. Even though I've had it with these speakers here, I have tried it with a, a more modern pair, then bronzes, then bronzes uh, B2s that I've got. They still sound fine, but I think all these really, they do, they do kind of like go better with a bigger pair of speakers, uh, especially this small one. Uh, speakers that have got uh, uh, eye sensitivity, 90 dB, something like that. Even though it worked fine with my Wolf Dolls, Diamond Freeze, that's uh, 86 dB, you're just getting more out of it. It's, the, sound, the sound's going to be bigger, and it's going to, you know, then big speakers give more detail, it's, you know, just, just gives it more freedom kind of thing. These speakers have got quite a bit of freedom, and everything sounds quite nice through them. So anyone you uh, buy out of them free, you're on a winner, you really are. Uh, and these are, to say, cheap for what you're paying for them these days. You know, I know they're old, but they are cheap. None, none of these are more than 80 pounds it's, it's ridiculous really when you compare things these days what what, what things cost I'm, you know, I'm lost touch really but i'm kind of catching up a little bit going out and about i've kind of been stuck in here and doing my own bits and pieces and whatever i've lost touch of what people are earning and uh, what things go for and you know and these are still cheap i think these are still cheap okay that's it uh i think i've wrapped that up now one thing if anyone's following it uh i will paint this black I've been told that to uh, paint this black and I will get around to paint this black but it may not be this one I may actually revert back to my original one take my wrapper off and do that black uh, I'll, I'll see what happens anyway because uh, this may be going somewhere else shortly so we'll, we'll, we'll see what's happening anyway but um, I will come to that uh, and another thing also anyone following this I did clean up the front done a few other bits and pieces I said I'm going to show you a video of me cleaning the back but I've already done that video that video was done ages ago I've already done one of them videos so if you want to search you'll see me actually cleaning this up cleaning the speaker terminals and all that 
So it's pretty much pointless me doing it all again because I'll be doing another repeat video pretty much exactly the same. So it's pointless that. So as far as that's concerned, it's probably near enough done. Just going to do a little bit of tinkering around this, that, and the other one I try out with it. Uh, other than that, um, I'm not too sure what my next video is going to be, to be honest with you, but stay tuned. Hopefully I'll, I'll dig out another one or two to bring you before I kind of like really finish off the i5, kind of take a bit of a dive down here with that and uh, just plod around doing bits and pieces, I think. So, um, no, I'm, I'm sorry for everyone that's kind of like subscribed, like I've said it a million times. Thank you very much, but um, I've got to do other bits and pieces myself getting old now before before they turn up with a coffin i'm going to get another few bits and pieces in okay until the next video i'll see you all soon